All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're talking about the dumbbell pullover. Very uh, simple movement, but very healthy movement for you. So the dumbbell pullover is going to work your serratus anterior. It's a muscle that is an anterior to the body, so it's on the front. And its job is to help the shoulder stabilize in this position. So if you have weakness or pain leading here, you may lack strength and stability right here. So that's where this exercise comes in. Once again, dumbbell pullover. And before I get too deep into the talking, I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. I'll leave a comment if you have any questions about any of the science stuff I just said. And uh, I'll like this video, because I have, or hit the thumbs up for this video, because I'm certain you're gonna like it as I continue. But yes, back to the pullover. So I'm gonna lay down on this bench like so, and I'm gonna have this dumbbell. Boom, laying down. I'm going to then take said dumbbell and push it away. I kind of have a cupped diamond shape here. And now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to keep my shoulders away from my ear. I'm not going to let my shoulders rise from my ear. Shoulders are away from my ear. And then the dumbbell is going to actually fall behind me. And once again, I'm using my serratus anterior to... to Stabilize my shoulders in this position in shoulder flexion. I'm gonna pull it right back. Boom, so once again, I'm opening up, going to what we call shoulder flexion here, keeping core nice and tight, getting the maximum range I can go, and coming back. But yeah, guys, this is the dumbbell pullover. Definitely throw it in your workout program if you feel like you lack strength up here, if you feel like you lack mobility or if you feel like you have pain anytime you go up there. A lot, for a lot of people, the reason why they feel pain and or discomfort is not from tightness, it is often from weakness of a given area. But yeah guys, uh, like I said, I'm pretty confident you'll like this video, so definitely smash that like button. Uh, if you have any questions, once again, that's what the comments are for, and if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel.